If you're building something with shelves to make them adjustable, you need a shelf pin jig like this one from Craig. Whether you're building simple kitchen cabinets or utility bookshelves or even something really fancy, a fancy bookshelf, a wall hanging uh, shelf, a display case, anything that has shelving, a lot of times you want to make that adjustable because you're not exactly sure everything you're going to be storing in there. That's where a shelf pin jig like this one from Craig comes in handy. You're all familiar with those multiple holes inside where you can take the shelf out, move the pins, uh, put the shelf back in to make it exactly the height you want. This kind of uh, pin shelf pin jig is exactly what makes those holes fast, easy, and accurately. So I highly recommend grabbing one of these if you're going to be doing adjustable shelves. Let's go ahead and check out what's inside. All right, inside the box here, dump out the container. We've got the jig itself with the holes that will make uh, that row of holes for making your shelf adjustable. Uh, I've got a fence guide here. Um, some materials, let's see, um, this is a jig extender for multiple jigs. We've got the uh, drill bit here, and then some hardware, a couple of shelf pins, uh, a little bit of hardware here, and there's a manual, right here it is, and a manual on how to use the jig. I'm going to put this jig straight to use because it's really self-explanatory so as soon as I start using it you'll see exactly how it works. Here I've got uh, part of a bookshelf or shelf cabinet. I've got a base and a wall and we want to go ahead and put some shelf pin holes up on this wall for adjustable shelves. The first thing I want to do is set the depth collar on the bit. So I popped out the bit and got the depth collar here. Now on the back of the jig there's a handy little storage area for your drill bit right here and you can lock it in so your bit won't come flying out. And this is uh, how you can set the depth collar. Fits right in here, which is the correct depth. And then go ahead and lock it in with this Allen wrench, supplied Allen wrench. So put that in, lock it down, and then my depth will be set correctly for this jig. The jig has a fence that you can use to al help align it, and it slips into the jig on the side here, and then snaps on and this is good for aligning the jig from the front of your cabinet. Uh, if you've got a face frame or whatever on the front now you can uh, slap it against there and you've got a consistent distance to your holes as you slide the jig up and down. Uh, you can reference it right off the front. This fence can actually go on either side so I can take it off and slip it in the other side and now use it from here and the holes are a little bit uh, further back so you can use it on either side for aligning your holes. I'm getting ready to drill my first set of holes uh, into the side of my cabinet, but I don't really need holes all the way at the bottom. I'm not going to have an adjustable shelf right here at the bottom, so it's great to use a spacer block, and you can go ahead and label your spacers. Put that at the bottom, uh, and then slide the jig got against the face frame using the fence against my spacer, and then go ahead and clamp it down. And Of course, I'll use the same spacer uh, on both sides of my cabinet, so I've got a consistent depth from the bottom or base of my cabinet. Then I'm going to go ahead and drill uh, the first hole here at the bottom. I've got the jig clamped. Now that I've gone ahead and drilled the first hole, I'm going to use this locator pin and put it in there and that will just help keep the jig uh, nice and tight from moving as I go ahead and drill a couple more holes. Now after you drilled all the holes, you can take the locator pin out, take your clamp out, and now you can slide the jig up and through the hole into uh, your shelf pin holes to realign it for the next set of holes. Okay. Now I've only drilled three holes here, not the five, but again I can just slide it through here and then stick it in there and now I can go ahead and drill a bunch more holes. Now, the reason I only drilled three holes is because I don't like holes going all the way up my cabinet. I don't think you need infinite adjustability in your shelves. Typically, you have a space at the bottom of your shelf where you put some stuff, and then maybe you need you know, a couple of inches of uh, adjustability, and then you've got another space where you're putting things. So I like to only have a couple of holes. I think it looks better. Uh, and then what I'll go ahead and do is move my jig further up and then drill another three or four holes. So what I like to do is grab another spacer. In fact, I can just turn this one on its side. Again, rest it at the bottom for my next set of holes. And there's the jig alignment on the bottom, on the face frame against the front. 
I'll go ahead and clamp it down and I can drill a couple more holes right up here. Now that I got the front set of holes, don't forget to put matchy ones at the back to hold your shelf up. I'm gonna go ahead and take the fence off. And typically you've got a back on your cabinet. I don't have one here, but there's a back. And so just go ahead and reference it right off the back, but don't forget your spacer block. So add the spacer block, same one we used obviously, up there, right against the back. And then you can go ahead, pretty much hold that in place. You know, I'd clamp the spacer block here, um, got your hand, I can hold this steady right jammed against the back there, and then go ahead and drill the holes. So that's pretty much it for this jig. I mean, it's a really simple jig, but it's definitely uh, useful when you need to make adjustable shelf pin holes. Um, the the jig itself is, is well made, um, the holes here have a metal insert so it uh, guides the bit really well and has a good depth to keep your bit nice and straight going all the way through. The only other thing that comes with part of this jig is a jig extender where you can take, uh, buy another one of these and go ahead and put them together and that just makes the whole job faster so rather than five holes now you have ten and you can do ten all at once up your cabinet or whatever so simply screw them together and you can use multiple of these. This shelf pin jig comes in two different sizes, so be aware, you can either get it in quarter inch or five millimeter, and that is the size of the holes and the size of the drill bit, because shelf pins come in two different standards, either quarter inch or five millimeters. So you wanna match your shelf pins to your holes to your jig. So as I said, there's not much to this, but when you need to make adjustable shelf pin holes, you need a jig like this. Go ahead and drill your holes quickly, put in your shelf pins, and you're ready to store things.